Hey y'all, it's me and Scarlett again. And for this video, we are going to work on a piece that Scarlett had commissioned and it's not really how she visioned it, envisioned it. Um, let me give you an overview of what I'm talking about. She's, it's a triptych and one of them is red, silver, and blues. The other and one silvers. Is, yeah. Like one of them is this. Mm -hmm. The other one is this. And she wants a middle mm -hmm. piece that connects the mm -hmm. two. Yeah. So. Um, it stands for the twins. It Pretty does much. stand for the twins. So. But the person's permission. Yes. What we're going <laughs> to do is try to make this piece look not quite so like sectioned off into like three quadrant. Mm -hmm. Quadrants that means four. four. That's okay. You know what I mean? You get we're that. in three yeah. sections and we want to make it look like one cohesive piece. So that is what we're going to be doing for this video. I hope y'all stay tuned. If you do mess up and you want to add, like change something, you mm. can you can do a voiceover, or you can um, just mute that section and type it down in the bottom. That's easier. Okay. But um, my videos are much like my artwork. It doesn't have to be perfect. I was wondering if you had the off if you could. If you you can. wanted to, just in case if you say something like super crazy and you're like, oops. Say something super crazy all the time, but like a good crazy, not like crazy, you know. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. So for this piece, we were using art code as a one to one resin, which means you pour equal parts, um, the same amount. For this piece, we're doing sixteen ounces to start. I don't know if that's going to be enough or too much. We're going to find out together, shall we? <laughs> we shall. <laughs> You're supposed to start for like forever plus a couple minutes and so that translates into about four minutes for this amount of resin <laughs> the piece itself is a 12 by 36 it's on mm, it's wood it's um it's a mdf it's uh board MDF. it's just mdf yeah just solid piece mdf yes and you've poured on it a couple times. I see some blue. I've poured it, here. yeah, my mold on this. Like, oh, this poor little piece. I've poured on it like four times, I want to say. This is the fourth thingy thing, uh, what you see it right here. And I've sanded, so that's why it looks, um, I've already pre sanded. So that's why it looks uh, dull and flat. <laughs> but yeah, this, is, this will be the fifth pour, I believe. Because I, like I said, I kept trying to do this and that and, mur, 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 and I just oh. wasn't working. And then this was working. Happen. Yeah. This worked until like the mid section. I was like, hmm. Because if they touch, I felt the colors touching didn't look good together. So I was like, let's try to get them flowing towards one another. But like, I was scared to keep, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so this way we um, will still keep it separate because we're going to do the swipe technique, which is more controlled than if you were just to blow it or to tilt it. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, that's all I was doing was blowing on this. Yeah, it looks like this area got a little hot and mm -hmm. thinned out. But and I was running. I, I didn't have enough resin too. I think I was running out. Whoops. No like, we will we'll make it exactly how you want it so that your clients will love it. Yeah. And they're the cutest, uh, sweetest family and the cutest little boys. They just turned six months old, little twin boys. Axel and Kurt. She's gonna have her hands full. Mm-hmm. My wrist is getting tired, so I know I'm almost done. Let me switch. Give you a break. Um, no, it's, like it's not. It's 
It's almost there. You got your minute. You got one more minute. Yeah, it's integrated. I just gotta. Mm-hmm. That's how it's always like at the three minutes. There's just that literally that extra minute of okay. So I always like switch hands, switch it. hand. Yeah, <laughs> power in there. <laughs> and then I ended up like I'll stir it like mm-hmm. a toddler, <laughs> or, like a witch stirring a, a cauldron. cauldron. <laughs> All right, so. The majority of this is going to be clear because we want to be able to see your beautiful base artwork. We're just going to do a few designs to pull it up. Am I still getting this mixed up? Red, Red to black, black, blue into white. Yeah. So, you ready to start mixing colors? Yeah. Oh, I need the popsicle sticks. Mm -hmm. One, one two, out of two, stir sticks three. still. Hi, baby moves. Hi, beep beep. I love that hers have these when they're they're big, easier when they're the bigger ones. The small ones are hard to grab. They are, but I love yeah. because these get on the rim and then they just won't open after a while. You know. Mhm. Mm very aware so i'm gonna pour some of this back because that's grayish color is gonna take over a little bit the red yeah i don't know what i do with it let's put a little bit more in that one for the red there you go Oh, sorry, I thought you were going to pour it. I'm so no, glad no, no. you waited until my hand came back because I was like, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> so that red is what color? This is Fire Engine Red, I think, right? Yes, Fire Engine Red by Color Obsession. Yes. Anytime and we... it's messy, though. It is messy. <laughs> That's the nature of the beast. I don't know where any rags are. Oh, there it is. I was like, I know I had to put a rag somewhere. So anytime you break out some paste, make sure you mix it up because even if you just used it yesterday, it may still separate on you. Totally separates on you. And you want to get like the full awesomeness of the color. So just mix it up. It's been a long minute since I opened them too. So I was like, afraid. <laughs> nah. So in general, try to do 10% paste to resin. This will help you avoid getting any um, like marshmallow fluff results because that's not fun to pour with. It'll set up on you too quickly if you mix too much pigment into your resin, particularly if you're using an acrylic or any thicker paint. Mm -hmm. The good thing about mixing and using epoxy specific colors is that they mix in so easily. You don't have to worry about like little chunks. If you use this and that base tints from Stone Coat, it doesn't take a lot of that to get your cells. So just use enough to make your resin an opaque color. And typically I would advise not using black and white in the same piece because they'll kind of cancel each other out in terms of selling. But we're not going, they're not gonna be touching each other, so it's fine. Yeah, I was like, oh, you said the other day. I'm like, oh, oh, maybe it was yesterday's life that you did. And I was like, oh, that's smart. But this also was before I had purchased black and white regular. So all I had was the mm. bases. Yeah, if I want black and white in the same piece, then I'll have one as the base scent and that's one smart. as a regular paste. That's smart. 
So it's just opaque and we got our color palettes. How mm -hmm. fun. Oh yeah, and this one, the green is, did you say? Forest? Yeah, deep forest, right? Rainforest, deep forest? Forest green by Just Resin. The blue is by Just Resin's Blue Sapphire. So gorgeous, so gorgeous. And uh, yeah, the Fire Engine Red one we said, and Platinum by Just Resin. Mm -hmm. Fire Engine Red, like, color obsession. There we go. So there's our colors. We're gonna make sure black stays there. This is here. That is here. Did you have silver in this? Um, on this side. Yeah, I did on the other one, but I didn't put it. It was different. It was not the platinum. It was a... I used a different one on hers. But I didn't want to put both because it didn't look good. I tried it. Gotcha. So I was like... Meh. So I chose that for that and then just leave these two with just that. Okay. Yep. Because I had a... It was... What is that silver? It was like super... I want to say platinum. Is that platinum that we were using though? Platinum was, was that aluminum? Yes, it was yeah. aluminum. I'm like, it looked like it should have been called platinum. Because it was like, like tin man. <laughs> that stuff is like tin balls. man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is it okay if we stand? Yeah. Okay, because I don't know about your people's. Well, visuals. they're more interested in the artwork rather than okay. what I'm looking like or doing. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Like trying to shove this over and she's like, um, excuse me. <laughs> the cord's hitting my face. So since the edges are rounded and we don't want everything to run off before we get a chance to actually work with it, um, we're not going to put that much clear and we're going to like make sure everything in the center is covered before we push it to the sides. Okay. And I'm going to go make sure that there's enough room for this in our dust-free zone while you um, push this around a little bit. Okay. Ooh, I love when you get to put it on. It immediately just makes it all beautiful. I'm going to move these over here. Because I'm clumsy, so I'm just going to put these over here. The tendency to not attention sometimes to my body uh. oh yeah see isn't it so pretty when you put it on like ooh, I love it and I like the way it feels too on your fingers and your hands to glide it across So pretty. You said not to go to the edges, right? Yeah, not yet. Once you put it on the edge, it's going to give it started on this one to roll this way so I still have the memory so it might continue you know it happens no worries oh, good. Yeah. and this coat doesn't have to be that thick you don't want it to be oh you want it to the edge I'm confused. um no I'm like I'm not pushing it exactly to the edge I'm uh, just, just barely to the edge It's not from the camera roll movie. Hi, baby miss. And that'll just save you from the pain of like, why is it running off? Right. <laughs> Which is a pain. Yep. Okay. You don't want to have too much clear down, but since this is going to be the main resin, for this piece, I don't want any thin spots to come up. So, yeah, just adding a little bit more. Because we're not gonna add a lot of color to this. We're just doing enough to tie in. The center, yeah. Yeah. So, there we go. 
Um, I've got swiping papers here. If I need to get more, I will. Okay. Do you want to hit it with just a little bit of heat and then we'll... I am. Let me find my rag again. resined it up. There's nothing down there valuable. Uh-huh. Your, your art stuff. Your molds. Okay, sorry, Mr. Robert, but you So, Oops, sorry. you're good. <laughs> well, <my God. laughs> Picture. This white may not be exactly the same as this white, so um, That's okay. it'll just give it a little bit of something extra. And since we're only doing like accent stuff, I'm just adding resin where I think it would look nice. Oh. You have to like cover it all when you're doing just like a second layer pour. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're just going, wait. Red goes there to the black. Jeez. It went into the white too, so it's okay. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> he has the best laughs though. He does, right? I love how uh, versatile one his one single technically laugh is, but it it's like his tone's pitch changes depending on if it's like, have you know, mm -hmm. well I'm sure you know it's obviously, but I, I really like that. Like depending on what's going on, it could be like a nervous, Mm -hmm. Like laugh, or it could be like a <laughs> yeah, not so much. Like you know what I mean. But he but he laughs that instead of saying it. <laughs> yeah, he oh, does laugh know. that. He does like get in a mood where he's like <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Or like an uncomfortable laugh. Like that just made that was an awkward thing you just said. <laughs> mm -hmm. He has all of the laughs. Right, but it's like this. But it's always that fun laugh. It's just how he he pitches it out like. Or the speed in which he laughs or something. I don't know how to explain it, but I like it. And I recognize that it's different. And I like that, too. Yeah, see, these got thin, so I was like, I need to put black on there. And I was like, should I spray paint it first because I don't want to screw it up? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to do. I was like, I'd spray paint and then let that dry and then do the clear just to make it so it have the depth. Because mm -hmm. I didn't like this because it's more brown tone because it's all blue. So since I messed up this part right here... I was about to just swipe right into the white like I said I wasn't going to. I'm just gonna like. Yeah, make it so. That'd be cool. Just over this area so that it's not just like pockets of color. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. And that'll end up selling up. Mm -hmm. And then this. It's not thin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
So I just want that to just mix in with what you have going on already. Oh, I love this sauce. Yes. So, I don't know if you want like more red presented here. Yeah, I think that would, yeah, because there's so much gray. I think that's smart. So, oh, sure. I think that is good to like integrate these colors in up there. So, should I like put like red, follow the thing of red right here? Yeah. Oh, gosh, I don't want to. I don't want, oh, where did this come from? Okay. Hold on, I gotta I'll do this right handy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I gotta do this right handy. See, even straight. though we didn't pull it all the way to the edge, it's running a little bit, mm -hmm. but it would have completely yeah. ran for sure. I have a tendency to overheat when I shut up half the time too. My other problem is I don't realize my arm and it's like my hand or the cup that I'm pouring with ends up dragging. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that's too much. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> piece. I would just put a little black here and maneuver it that way. way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feeling this good about your swipe? Not really, but <laughs> no. <laughs> but just... see, my edges take forever to soak, and then by the time they get the other ones, this goes super far. You know what I mean? You don't have to soak all the way to the edge. Oh. Slow mm -hmm. down. Ooh, ooh. Oh, take good. your time with it. Don't stress. Can't see. Like, I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Looks good. Except for that big blurble. Um, so let's just put a drop of silver back on that part and then blow it into the red. Okay. That will pull this into this. Okay. Oh. I was like, wait. <laughs> I know it used to be here. <laughs> Blow it out this way? Like with your face. Like Oh I my wouldn't, face. Yeah. I wouldn't put too much heat on that because you okay. don't want it to blow it out. that direction? Um it'd be hard to blow it that way, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. I really like how that's turning Me out. Me too. Watch your hair. I'm like, watch your hair. Oh, I've gotten it. I've gotten my hair in it so many times. Really? Yeah, I just have to, like, have to cut it wash out? it with alcohol. Oh, I never would even thought to do that. That's smart. So now that we're done with that side, I don't care if it, like, goes over or not. Those are awesome. As long as this doesn't go over and disappear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm making sure that wasn't a scorch spot. It's not. It's just selling. So that side... I'm digging. I don't know if you're about it. Mm. If you want to keep working it, that's this fine. This little bit, I'm not. Just this, like, solid kind of. Okay. I don't know. So. Should we just whoosh our finger through? Or maybe a sweepy swipe? We can. So let's put just a dot of black right there. And then you can swipe this over that way. I know. It was so difficult for me earlier. I was like, what is my problem? Well, I can, I'm sorry. I can't tear your paper. Paper problems. Right. I would call that good. 
because you don't want to pick up too much. Oh, this is like one of those, uh, what do you call it? Yeah. Um, what do you call that? Uh, like a blow. I don't know, but I really like, I like that. And this is gonna, I don't mind that black line either. Because mm -hmm. you have like hard Some scragglers, lines. yeah. So it kind of just integrates the top pour with the bottom pour. Mm -hmm. So these are going to continue to grow. Super pumped about that. Mm -hmm. Love this. Are you ready for this side? We are ready. Do you have red on your hands? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Might be good to switch out gloves when you move from one color palette to the other. Because if you get like a red dot over here, you're going to be like, okay, I hate myself. <laughs> Ooh, it looks even prettier from where you were standing. There's so much depth. Oh right yeah, there. I see. Because I'm over here now, and I'm like, oh yeah, it's not as muchness. It is definitely not as muchness. <laughs> Would it help oh, you? Like clear, not touching on that hole. How funny. It's there. Is it selling on its own? Though? It's just highlighting one of your cells from your first layer. Oh, what a trip. So, what were you saying, sir? would it help you if we rotated it? Or are you good with I'm better actually pulling being... this way? Are you a oh. good this way puller? Or are you a better this way puller? Let's try pulling this way. It might be because I think I always do this and it's, that's what's hard for me. Maybe I'm a, maybe in, I'm actually a better inside versus an outside puller. Maybe that's been my problem. I don't know. It's just because I'm right-handed. Sometimes it's easier for me to go this way than it would be to, like, go this way. Oh, but, you're probably right because this is where... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll but do it. if you've never done that before, then no, I haven't. let's do that, and that let's might see. help you. Okay. If not, we can always rework it. It's not a big deal whatsoever. Oh. Right then. So, you got your blue... Are those new gloves? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Your green and your white. White. What do I do? <laughs> this was my, like, where do I put it? So we're going this direction to go like that. Right. So just like this one curved this way, we're going to bring this one just almost like following this curve, but separated. So you're going to go like this. Okay. So I would, like, have a fat pull and then... Turn it slightly so that it thins out. Okay, so when I away. pour, what am I pouring? Blue or green, blue, and then the white? Yeah, I would make sure the white's on the outside because that's going to Go create over. the cells. Yeah. And I would probably start from like this area where this green is because it would make sense that the green, green is there. Okay, and then the blue closer. I mm -hmm. think the blue looks pretty like. Um, Prettier, is that what? Yeah, mm -hmm. more pretty. On the, against the white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get this stick out of here because I always mess up when I hold that stick. No worries. When it's this full. <laughs> I can do it when it's not super full. When it is, I'm like, mm. Nice. So since that is a good amount, we'll probably end up pulling a little bit of it this way too. Okay. So that we don't end up with just a big section of green. Okay. So when you pour the blue, just do like some right here and then maybe some right here and then we'll put maybe some black. Oh, yeah. And pull it that way. All right. That's it's kind of like awesome. we did right here with the white. Mm hmm That's When I was going to do it in the wrong direction. Because <laughs> I'm a genius. There you are. I'm just popping these bubbles that have come up. Oh, my gosh. That just totally... See, for me, when it's this full, I end up doing that. I should have... Uh started on this part instead of it's okay 
So we'll, this is what we'll do if you wanted to. We could scrape this back into your cup. All right. Put it right here. Okay. If you don't want this much on here. A little crazy. <gasps> That's nuts. All right. So since we're we trying to get that, to the clear. <laughs> Cujo. Oh no, it's the same one. I was like, uh oh, I just mixed the green one into here, but I didn't. I did not. It's all going to the same place. <laughs> That's why it's always good to have some clear. Extra. It's extra. Just gonna pop the bubbles and make it as thin as it was over here. I don't want to use the heat to push this because that's going to thin it and the thinner resin is going to move more. Okay. Here we go. Oops, I forgot about the black over there. My bad. No big deal. Bless you, pup. And for the black, you don't want that much because the green isn't supposed to be black. Like, this side isn't supposed to be black. Mm. So. So this would be swipe. So can you do this first swipe for me? Oh, this way? Can you want me to do the first one? Oh, the, yeah. Sure can. Make sure I don't have any red on this, though. So we're gonna pick up the green. So we're we're gonna start. I'm gonna pick up the green, and I'm gonna curve it this way so that it comes up to a point. If I like go this way and leave it flat the whole way, mm -hmm. then it's not gonna fade. So I want to pull it the flat way and then cut it as I go. Oh, so that it okay. That's the key I'm missing. Point. Okay. Cause I'm always like, what? Trying to spin it flat. <laughs> right. So we're gonna take our time. So it picks up paint. And then we're gonna turn it sideways. Oh, and then, but you still go that way. <gasps> okay. I should have moved a little bit slower cause it didn't pick up that much. Nope. Mm. <laughs> That has red on it. We're not going to do that. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah. So that's your direction. That's how you're going to do it. Got red on it because I'm genius. So, okay. all right, let's trade the spot. Oops, no dying. Sorry. No dying alone. <laughs> <laughs> you will not be the only one that fell on your channel. <laughs> that was a fun Oops. day for sure. Okay, I think I need to hold it one handed. Please. That's a good amount. You're good. Just take your time. Look, it's like selling over the green you had down there. That's cool. But since we had the clear there, it's moving that out of the way. So I'm digging that. Mm -hmm. So let's do. I just want to bring something right here. I didn't want it to be solid like this because this is kind of just mm -mm. not, you know? Yeah. And then. I can put some regular black paste here and pull it in this way if you want to continue the black. Okay. Or.
You don't want these two colors mixing, you said. Yeah, they do not look cute together touching. Once they touch, they... So what I would do is use the heat gun and blow this this way. Okay, so don't drag it. So that... But you have to be really careful. Actually, maybe too much heat wouldn't be good because you just want to keep it separate. So should I, like, just pull it through down just to kind of pull it away from... Well, then the white will be on top, so. But if you pulled it like this, then it would look weird. I don't, if you cross over like that, it'll mm -hmm. look like um, a cancer ribbon. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Which is fine. Right, right, right. Unless that's not what you want. <laughs> right. And then it's kind of not fine. <laughs> so maybe if you did a little bit of green here and then pulled it this way. Okay. Because your green's kind of getting lost Started, in all of this. Yeah. Take that one and pull Straight it that out. way or this, however, okay. however way. And if it's not moving very easily, then we're going to have to add some heat to it. But it looks That's like it's totally doing moving. just fine. Yeah. picking up really well. Mm -hmm. Oops. Very nice. Let's hit it with a little bit of heat and then see what we got. These cells are getting massive. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. I love cells. <laughs> okay, so that's why I need to start investing with the blowing because I'm trying to move and I overheat my yeah, it's easy to overheat stuff, so if you want to move it without adding heat, then you need to do swiping or um, just heat it up a little bit and then blow on it. You can also use one of those um, dusters, but you have to be like super careful because mm, if, you or hit, pop it. if you hit it too hard, it's going to like shoot everything mm -hmm, that's right because <laughs> that's what my fear is yep and that's i did that with a blow dryer it literally went all over all the way bang <laughs> this is terrible just gonna break that part up a little yeah i would break this up too sweepy swap i really like how like this is every cell that everyone that ever wanted to do a beach scene. Right? Whatever want. <laughs> okay. So, which way should I... Oh, I see the... I'm always right here. You know exactly what you're doing. Right. Well, I'll say that where I actually want to take this loop. Oops, I just ruined that part. What an idiot. Nah. Me. Put a little heat on it and it will be just fine. Oh, that's up the cell, so, because I just don't actually got the white on me. I'm swapping this in my hand. Ooh. So I don't want it to get too thin, so I turned the heat on the back of the heat gun all the way down. So that it's just blowing cold air. Mine does not work correctly, annoyingly enough. I have the same, but when I go to trim my cool, it stays hot forever. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And then randomly it will decide to be cold and I can't get it warm. I'm like, really? <laughs> but it's just Wouldn't random. Yeah. So it's super annoying. Cause that's what I was even struggling with um, when I was doing the alcohol inks with um, Arbicator. Mm -hmm. Those, Those are, rad. are awesome. Right? That white um, usually yeah. doesn't do that. And right here where you said you messed the it double. up. Yeah. Like, it's just green lacing. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. 
Ooh, yeah. And then double, actually, the white did lace right there, too. Because mm -hmm. I was, that's why I was like, ooh. You can't, like, let the resin Don't let that make you nervous. Out. All right, so let's do this. If you want cells, you have to make sure that your black is on the bottom. But if you're just trying to cover something up, mm -hmm. then it doesn't really matter. Because yeah. I like, I don't like solid lines look for me per se, unless I was like specifically wanting a solid, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't like where you can tell you just poured and right. you haven't done anything with it. I don't like that look. Mm -hmm. Unless you're literally doing that all over. <laughs> right. Then I'm like, all right, I'm down. But to me, it's like, oh, uh, you missed a spot. That's what it looks like. Right. <laughs> like you forgot Whatever about that a little is, bit. you just did. Yeah. You didn't finish it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just trying to. I love that weird white and celery area. That's so crazy. Yeah, that two-tone look. Mm-hmm. I just wish this black was closer to that black that you used. Uh, I don't like this though. It was too not opaque enough. That was like, see how down there it's way back with her? I actually want this darker. So I think I'm going to feed that on top to, you know what I mean? Because it makes it have more depth when it's not this creepy brown. True. Like, if you look. That's what I think. Like, that's what I was going to like, you know. Spray paint that this section just so it was dark black. <laughs> but the problem what happened is this bled into it, so it made it that weird brown. Mm-hmm. That's pretty. I forget that I turned the heat down. Right. Like, why is, why is it not happening? moving? <laughs> And you're like, Ugh. and then sometimes with my bad eyesight, I end up hitting, I end up uh, scraping in on accident. So I'm like, willing the heat to make it move. I'm like, why isn't it not working? And then I'm like, ooh, pretty nasty, yeah, much better. Much better. So now you've got a little action mm -hmm. here. That's rad. That's so soft. It looks like a mermaid net. Mm-hmm. So now that that's everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that everything's covered. Do you mind dribbling um, this there just so I don't mess up? Do you mind making that dark? Like the dark just mm -hmm. for color dark not to have to swipe or anything but just to fill. I this. can but I'm not going to get that close to that because it'll mess it up if I try to yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you're saying. But, like, majority of this outer bits. Because that's really, like, that nasty brown. It looks burned to me, that color. Oh, yeah. So, what I would recommend... to fade in. I don't want it to distract. Mm -hmm. Can we do our finger like that when it mess it up? Or? I would just blow it. Oh. I really don't want you to do it in my hand. I'm going to pass out. <laughs> don't pass out. I'm like, mix, little black, mix. <laughs> Is that too, too dimensional? Do you want me to put more on it? i put more black on it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's so much better. 
Ooh, yay, Miss Erica. Yay. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Right? Because it allows it to be like a big hole. Mm -hmm. Like I'm just falling in the vortex. Yep. I, I love agree. That. So I want to tie it in just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And that'll fade in and blend out, but. If it were just that brownie black color there, it'd be like, well, yeah. what? <laughs> so, I'm digging it. I like it. I like where it's at. Are you happy with it? I am. I think it looks better. The only thing I'm wondering is if we should drag some of this red over. Oh, that little hair right here. What do you think? Well. Or do you think that's better because we don't want to get rid of too much negative space? We don't want to get rid of too much negative space, but since there is some of the blue and green into this area, mm -hmm. it's not a bad idea to try to pull some of this up. Okay. And you don't have really any silver represented. So, let's put just a little bit of heat on it. Yeah, right? Woohoo! Let's go! Hopefully, it'll sell just a little bit. It is, it is. It's so pretty. And it helps balance that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was a very good eye of yours. And these are going to grow. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, that was bomb. So that way those are oh, the point. Dink. <laughs> so, let me go put this in a dust-free zone before anything gets into it. Yeah, that's the sides so it like is smooth and all. Chippity chunkity, chippity chunkity, chunky chunk chunks. Chipmunk chunkies. I think we got most of them. Mm -hmm. Alright, I don't want to pull any of the green into the red zone. Mm hmm Yeah, we're good on that side. Okay. And get the bottom. Yeah. I'm just trying to make sure the edges are all done. I didn't miss but Okay. Ooh, here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Without tweezers and everything. <laughs> so, look at this bad boy, y'all. Right? Yay! Thank you, Miss Erica. Oh! That's crazy. Yeah. You I definitely want to take a picture of that because I, I had that on the, as my screen for my, like that business background, you know what I mean? Your, not your profile pic, but the like pic behind. Shot. Yeah. And this way, and I hate that center. <laughs> Garbage. I'm like, Rrr. so this way, bam, bam, boom. Okay. That's pretty. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Did you want to make molds or tile with the excess? So awesome. I'm sorry? What do you want to do? I could do some I could do some tiles. Here we go, here we go. Actually. 
I can do, I can do Beauty of it all Paper's coming off, so let's just help you out. Let's just help you out. Joe, there's nothing there. Miss. Hmm? Like your paper was starting to peel off in there, so I'm like, I'll just help you out. Cujo! It's enough. Mm-mm. Uh -uh. Oh, what about your clear for that? Did you add more? I did. Okay, good. Full. Yay! Bam! I'm gonna cuss her? Sure. Oh, I right, gotta be cleaned. <laughs> no big deal. Cujo! Mm -hmm. It's gonna be covered. Those are the with the rocks, right? It looks like rocks, like mm -hmm. amethysty. What do you call geo? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same thing. Sounds like two syllables. Oh. Also. What is it? I wonder if we can see that from here. Oh my god. Mm, there's no telling. How is that even possible? There's probably too much on this in the I don't know what in the world. He's what? I have no idea. <laughs> that is insane. I'm sure it's important. I just watched a rocket take off. Wow. Cape Canaveral. It had three mm -hmm. boosters on it. The boosters get up to a certain point. They detach from the rocket or from the whatever they're sending up there, mm -hmm. and it goes back to where they went, took off <laughs> by themselves. And they had cameras on them. Smart That's little crazy. doohickey. Yeah. Twenty-four thousand miles an hour. Wow, sounds about right. It's already in space. No, that's where I was born. Center core is landing on its own. It, it's going back. Oh. Uh, so that didn't, that's not good. Did they kill the feed? Yeah. Uh oh. So it sounds like they landed. That was so 
really good. And some of the silver. I was like, where's my luster? And I'm like, ah. <laughs> Those are great colors. Right? Ooh, and that black and silver just like blue sapphire, Ooh, platinum, and that black. Bust out your hand, your thing to stand it on, you know, kick stand it. Oh yeah. Let me get this out of the way. Crazy how this red like turns purple, almost. Yeah, right. With it's got platinum. like a weird, uh huh, undertone like that violet undertone. Don't touch it, it's gonna be hot. Okay. Well, that's fun. Yeah. She's right there. Mm -hmm. oh, actually, I'm gonna have to use this one. Hmm. Let's see what 
good. I know we're actually not putting my thing on there. Oh, Miss Joplin, watch out! <laughs> my foot's getting tugged. I'm like, what's going on? What you doing? Everything I'm not supposed to do. Right. I know. God. <laughs> These babes. Hey. Psh, psh. her by her back leg like just like a hyena does to a buffalo. <laughs> does to a buffalo. <laughs> a hyena to buffalo is awesome. Or like a lion to a well, zebra. She is, li she is little like a hyena and he looks like a buffalo. Oh, what a owl. crocodile does to a hippo. <laughs> Best analogies. <laughs> I'm trying something crazy. Just a little crazy. Yeah. You're gonna do something crazy? Just a little. Just a smidge. I'm gonna get two out there. And <laughs> gonna keep crazy. it toned in a little bit. <laughs> wanna dial it back just, just a smidge. A smidge. Oh, but I see people do this all the time. I know. Why don't I try that? Where they just slather color mm -hmm. all over and then and in. It's just like that, you saw that? <laughs> I do that all the time. Huh. Right? But I never have. I always have these like weird controlled drops. So cold. So cold. <laughs> control. Yeah. Control. Yeah, supposedly. Oh, where those? Just the little. Blurble here or there, just a little bit. Blurbles. Yeah. You can call that a word. Oh, it is a word. I have no idea. In the dictionary. No, I don't really know. It should be, though. I'm pretty sure it probably is. Blurble. If not, I'll make sure they put it in there. You're going to call them? Yeah. <laughs> I'm on speed people. dial, you know? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Like, you know. You know. I know them. Them peeps. It's getting really real in there. I have all these like, fun posters. For so let me. Did it say when that's supposed to start? You know, it's like Five. this afternoon. What time is it? Five. What's supposed to start? It's supposed to hail. Really? Mm -hmm. Like the crazy hail that you hear about in Texas where it damages things? Apparently. Ooh, oh, I'll be a lot there then. That's why I was like, are you sure you want to come over today? Oh. <laughs> I thought it was just, just rain. Like, you know, like rain. I was like, for sure. But it gets crazy rainy here, so that's why I just assumed it was rain. I'm like, oh, I'll make it happen. I will come. Don't worry about what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> so that's, yeah, I hang a lot here. It gets pretty... Into. Mm, no next. That's kind of 
How come it looks like everybody else mixes the thing and it just mixes? Like mine stayed where I yeah. boiled them. So I thought Yeah. I think I blew white over it already though. I'll pull it from here. Put red in like certain spots. That's my red. Ooh. Ooh, I like the crowns. How fun. It can be super fun or super frustrating. Oh, really? It's 50 50. Mm -hmm. Let's not miss that cell. Mm, I see you, little cell. I'll keep you alive. Look here, it's like right at the edge. And I was like, oh. <laughs> keep you, keep you, keep you. Ooh, it's hot. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Right Let's make this one a Christmas color. one. Looks like an apple. It does look like an apple. Oh, you want me to pour in there? Yeah. Oh, make something. Okay, I've never done the molds. I have a mold of every shape and size. Mm -hmm. I feel like. How do you keep these clean? Like it's impossible. Okay, so you just kind of ignore it, okay? Because that was driving me nuts in the one mold you ended up um, trying to so-called clean it, and it was like creating more lint, if anything, attracting more lint to it. You know, I was mm -hmm. like, ugh. <laughs> silicone's super hard to keep clean, and that's why I don't have any of those like silicone cups that people use. So you can like reuse when you like, instead of like the Dixie cups, people use all kinds of things. Oh really? Yeah, like silicone cups and mm, all I mean, stuff. I kind of get it, but at the same time, it's a lot of work to constantly clean. It's just easier to throw it away, I feel. Even though it's more harmful to the universe or whatever, but. Uh -huh. Oh, you're supposed to fill it all the way to the tippy top? If you want to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I typically do because why not? Right. If I have the resin, if not, then I'm yeah, going it's a to lose sleep over it. <laughs> So then for shows and things, I just make like keychains or magnets out of those or I throw them oh, in cool. mystery boxes. Mystery box? What's that? Um, I have them on my website and it's basically where I just I have all these paints and all these things mm -hmm. that when... Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do with them sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I will make mystery boxes for people. Hmm, that's fun. So I have like a $25, $50, and $100 mystery box, and it can be anything from like stickers, spray camps, paints, molds, clothes. Whoa. 
Good catch. <laughs> That's cool. So let me open so they don't even know it's like a big old surprise, like a big old Santa. It is. Gift. It's a mystery. Hmm. So there we go. I forgot we were still streaming, just having a good time. <laughs> All right, you guys. Y'all know the drill. Check us out on all of these places. Join our Facebook group, ATD's Poor People. If you need resin paint, hit us up on our website, artistillet.com. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, artistillet.com. Thornton at artistillet.com. Two T's, two L's. And we will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. I said bye. Hi, Miss.